Okay, start over. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> what is up, everybody? Um, excuse me, please. What's up? Yo, what's up? Yo, dogs. <laughs> editor, please make me look less cringy. Thank you, editor. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing today? It is still the same cold, rainy morning. Is it morning? Oh, no, now it's afternoon. So this is the same day that I made the yo-yo, and that video is uploading right now. So that is cool. But it's still cold and windy and rainy out. So I have another idea, guys. Well, you saw the thumbnail. Um, this is going to be super fast and easy. Maybe not very many people w would like this type of bit, this one, but uh, we'll see. So the yo-yo made me think of a Diablo yo-yo, which we will make sometime. Um, and that is a yo-yo a that's not attached to the string. And that was a part of our juggling arsenal back in the day. When I was a kid, I was a juggler. So uh, me and a friend of mine taught ourselves to juggle when we were probably like, I don't know, 11 or 12. And we got really, really good at it. So I don't really, I still know how to juggle, of course, but I haven't, I don't really practice anymore. But this gave me an idea. Why don't we print a juggling ball set? There we go. We're done. Um, but instead of just printing just a ball like this, I want to put a hollow cavity in it and put something in it. So it rattles like a maraca, you know, like it makes sound and maybe it'll, maybe we can like, maybe if I juggle like a certain pattern, I can make like a little beat or something. Oh, that'd be cool. It's giving me weird ideas. How smooth should we make the ball, by the way? Would it be easier if I had a little curves on it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's just look. We're going to have to cut a flat spot so it can sit nice. Um, Honestly, it might be kind of nice like this. I think just to get a little wacky, let's just leave it like this. Okay? Um, let's cut the bottom off so it can sit nice on the printer. I don't really mind if it has a little flat spot. Uh, we might do it on the bottom. We should just cut both. Let's cut the top and the bottom off so they match. Or it's going to mess with my psyche. Um, let's just go up to this line, don't you think? Okay. And then, yeah, we're going to print these out. And then I'll put on a juggling show for you guys. Oh, my gosh. I hope I'm not too rusty. Okay, duplicate. Oh, and as far as the the filler so right away i was like oh we could put some rice in it because we're gonna make a hollow cavity in there we could put some rice in there but i thought of what would be louder bb's like a bb gun bb's i have a container of them we actually used some bb's for a different project one time the hot sauce turntable <laughs> we used bb's as ball bearings it was awesome um anyway oh my gosh we're like almost done guys we got to make this video eight minutes so I get the most ad money. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. I always talk too much. Group. Okay. See, that'll be fine. I don't mind that. I just want it to print nice. So now we just want a hollow cavity inside. Let's think about this. I think we just want another sphere inside of it, right? Honestly, that looks perfectly fine. So let's turn this one transparent by hitting T. Okay. And now we can see where it goes. So let's, we can hit the, uh, a bunch of these align axes, axes, this one, this one, and then this one. Look, it's like an egg. So yeah, um, let's turn this back normal. So yeah, when we group these now, these are going to have a hollow cavity inside of them. Right? Um, group. Please. Okay, let's take a look inside there. See? Hey, my gosh. And you know what I'm going to do is I'll just pause the printer when it's like, you know, halfway done with this cavity or whatever. I'll just pause the printer and dump some BBs in there. Maybe I'll weigh them out or measure them like a teaspoon. Is that how you guys measure your BBs? A teaspoon of BBs? Um, these have to be... 
bigger than this though. Um, three inch? No. Two inch. We, I want them kind of small. Two inches too small. Three inches getting pretty big. How big are these? So that's over two inch. Still a little on the small side. How many of you guys want me to juggle? Should I just print three or should we print five? How much filament is this going to take? Um, it'd be kind of cool to print some different colors. What should we do, guys? Let me think for a second here. Okay, I was supposed to be thinking. I was staring at my fish tank drooling. Not because I'm hungry. Just because my brain stopped working. Guys, let's just do this. Let's just... Let's just do three in one color, and then we'll do two in a different color in case we want to get crazy and try to do five. Um, boop and boop and boop. This was the quickest project ever. How long have we been recording? Let me check. Six minutes, seven minutes. Oh, no. Hey, that's fine. That's good. Okay, anything wrong? Uh, we have the cavity on the inside, juggling balls. Oh my god, talk about the easiest project we've ever done today. Okay, guys, let's send these balls to the printer. Printer initiate. Alrighty, there we go, guys. I paused it. And I put a little less than a teaspoon of babies in each one. There we go. Let's finish it up. Hopefully they don't fly out for some reason. Okay, there we go. Whoops, I was still in time-lapse mode, so I already popped these off. Listen. Oh my gosh. They actually sound better than I thought they would. Ow. Oh my gosh. Maybe I can call these musical instruments. Like, I was trying to think of what I should call these. Juggling ball rattles or maracas. I'd say juggling ball maracas. I don't know. Why are these so satisfying looking? Oh my gosh, I love these. I actually like them more than I thought I would. They printed a little weird on the bottoms because I'm using a 0.6 nozzle. Oh my gosh, I love them. Let's print a couple more. They actually have really good texture grip to them. Uh, yes, let's print some more. Okay, guys, what's up? Oh, here, what, what are you guys seeing? Can you guys see? These things are awesome. They're so satisfying looking for some reason. I don't know if it's like the matted finish with the faceted sides and the sound, and they have some weight to them. Like, for some reason, they're just like satisfying. Here, watch this. Can you do this without touching them? Pretty cool, huh? Kind of, or is that stupid? Um, here, watch this. You can shake them like uh, hand maracas. Or if you just have two. I was making this little pattern. Watch this. Isn't that cool? Okay. But as far as like juggling, as far as like juggling them, you're always kind of catching and throwing it about the same time. So you don't get really, it makes a cool sound, but you don't really get like a cool different patterns. I mean, maybe a little bit. Here, I'll just show you. Okay, I'll put on a juggling show for you guys. Okay, ready? I do two in the left hand, and then like this. Ah, uh, you can do four like this though. Oops. One more time. Good thing I have more. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the finale, guys. Okay, pay attention. All right, I'm gonna try five. Here we go. Ha <laughs> 
I didn't even practice this not even once <laughs> before I hit record. Here we go, five. One more time. There we go, I did it! Hey, not too bad for an old soul juggler. All right, guys, well, I don't know what we wanna call these, if they're hand maracas, juggling, musical juggling balls. Either way, they're just fun, awesome, and weirdly satisfying as just objects. I really like them, actually. I've been playing with them, uh, just shaking them even. It's, it's awesome. So there you go. If you don't know how to juggle, you could print out three of these and, and let me know how you do. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.